What do bacon and cinnamon rolls have in common? They both taste delicious. And their nicknames given to this crazy creature, the Venus's Girdle. That's another weird name. I'm not sure why they got nicknamed after foods, but we'll go with it for now. So are Venus's girdles the same as jellyfish? And how do they put on their wonderful light shows? Are they for hire? These aquatic creatures are ribbon-shaped and grow up to one and a half meters long. But Venus's girdles are thin, only reaching about eight centimeters wide. These plentiful beauties live in Antarctic, Pacific, Atlantic, and Mediterranean waters. But despite their jellyfish-like looks, Venus's girdles aren't jellyfish. They're an animal known as comb jellies. The biggest difference between them and jellyfish is comb jellies don't sting. I like them already. What does make Venus's girdles stand out is their fantastic glow, described as a rainbow ribbon. This light show is known as bioluminescence, or the ability to produce and give off light. When a Venus's girdle is disturbed, specific proteins in its body create a chemical reaction that makes green or blue light. But it's not clear why they do it. Some researchers suggest it's a defense tactic. This distinguishing ribbon-like glow really makes a Venus's girdle stand out from other comb jellies. It's like they're showing off how well they produce light. So if Venus's girdles don't sting, how can they catch their prey? And what do they eat? Instead of stinging cells, they have sticky cells on their tentacles. They're called coloblasts and help latch on to prey. Venus's girdles usually eat the larvae of crabs, oysters, and even baby fish. Once it gets stuck on the coloblasts, the larvae will succumb to their fate as the comb jellies lunch. These animals also have hair-like cells called cilia. They usually grow eight rows of these comb-like structures along one side of their bodies. They create small whirlpools. Synchronizing them helps propel Venus's girdles through the water. In times of danger, they use a fast escape movement and move up and down rapidly. These flashy comb jellies can even do snake movements and move several body lengths in seconds to avoid danger. So the more we look at Venus's girdles, the more we realize they are complex and intriguing animals. And that is reflected in how they reproduce. Each Venus's girdle produces eggs and sperm, which they release into the water for fertilization by other Venus's girdles. Fertilized larvae develop outside the parent and eventually produce their own light shows. You know what else isn't a jellyfish, but it sure looks like one? It's a cousin of the Venus's girdle with its own descriptive name, the Portuguese man of war. Oh wow, they have a mean sting. Find out more on our episode about them, lest you be stung. They produce beautiful light shows and catch their prey without stinging it. That's what Venus's girdles do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.